Next question, question 23. Consider the table given below in which the numbers bear certain relationship among themselves along the rows. Which one of the following numbers is a missing number indicated above by x? So, if you see, the relation is between these three numbers and these three numbers. From this, we should find a relationship and apply here. So if you just sum everything, if you, third row is simple, uh, it is 30, 27 plus 3 is 30, so it is sum is 60. If you take sum, uh, 29 plus 13 plus 18, it gives 39, uh, 42, 50, 60. So sum of the rows is 60, A plus B plus C is 60 that could be a relationship it applies here also so 29 plus 13 plus 18 equal to 60 similarly 30 plus 27 plus 3 equal to 60 so in the same using same logic 33 plus x plus 19 should be 60 so we get x as 33 plus 19 is um, 52 so 60 minus 52 uh, which is 8 so we get this x as 8 which is option d so this is one solution option d the reason why i said one solution is there is one more relationship in this uh, so if you take uh, if you take the sum of second and third element we'll get 29 as the first element and sum of second and third element is 20, uh, 20, 13 plus 18, which is 28, 31, 31, right, 31. So sum minus first element, we will get 31 minus 29. Um, so that is, uh, if you take sum minus first, we will get 31 minus 29 equal to Okay, let me just move all this. Sorry, uh, it is 31 minus 29 uh, is equal to 2. So here it becomes 30. First element sum is 30, and first element is 30. So is equal to 0. So we can also think this as if you sum of in the second row also this applies so it uh, it comes like uh, x plus 19 minus 33 should be equal to since it's 2 here pattern wise if you see this has to be 1 so if you apply this relationship if you try to apply it like this uh, so that is adding two numbers then subtracting the first element we get two here here zero so it should be one here if you take if you use that logic um, it is x is equal to uh, mm, 34 minus 19 is 15 so we get 15 as the answer that is b so if you use that logic you get b as answer in the official upsc key it was given b or d so both are uh, marked as answer by the official upsc key first one uses a simple logic all the sum of three elements is 60 in the first and third row so we can definitely apply that logic here in the second row which gives 8 as answer and if you use the second logic which is sum of these two if you add to these two and subtract it with this you will get 2 here and 0 here so it has to be 1 here in that logic also we can find the answer which will give 15 as the answer so both B and D are acceptable answer for UPSC so you can choose which one you want okay that is the solution to question 23